Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. We're all here. Your mom is really straight right now, and so, and I've already lost my dad, and so having to watch her is just not worse. Yeah. And then there's also so too much for me right now. And that fear of her dying and losing her, right? Okay, so how many of you have lost parents? Yeah, it's, it's a really crap time. <laughs> that's, a, that's an Aussie understatement, of course. Mm -hmm. I would say what I would normally say in Australia, but anyway. Um, so let's have a look. Give me your arm. Stay strong. Stay strong. See, um, so I'm, I just said suffering then and it stayed strong. And, and I said mother dying and it stayed strong. Um, and then I said being alone in the world. Right. So what, what you don't want to be is alone in the world. And what you believe is that when your mama dies, and she decides it's her time to get out of this body and get into the next one, that you're going to be alone, right? That's the belief. This is the program, I'm going to be alone. In fact, the program is, I'm going to be alone forever. That's the, oh, we've got jumping on the ceiling. <laughs> I'm going to be alone forever. So we don't even know where that came from, but how many of you have ever thought, okay, I am going to be alone forever? Have you ever thought it? Yeah. You haven't found the love of your life, the divine being of your life, you've lost your parents, you've lost, we've all, we've all lost, haven't we? And so, so obviously there's going to be a lot of people being corrected with this one. All right. So let's just go in and uh, this is actually, and I think you can all tell even after that one correction, this is coming from every dimension. So this is, this is happening for her on a spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, psychic, and psychological level. And when it does that, I go to the spiritual first, because once we correct the spiritual, the rest usually just falls over like dominoes, because it's usually the spiritual that is getting triggered off. So let's have a look. Um, I, I can actually feel your whole body shaking now because the remembrance of what I'm just picking up is in your body, and it's really playing havoc with you. And um, and also, uh, she has no idea how beautiful she is on any level whatsoever. And um, so I'm just going to say a word, and then I'm going to give her the past life that went with that word. And that was I actually see her as a leper, and she's in a very very dark cave, right at the back of the cave, and what you were in that lifetime was this incredibly, incredibly beautiful woman, beautiful, stay strong, beautiful woman, there's no, see, there's no program around being a beautiful woman, but leper, that's a different thing, so you were an incredibly beautiful woman, and, um, oh, and so your mother, your mother got leprosy, and she decided that she was going to look after her, and of course, she got it. And in those days, these are biblical days, there was nothing to you know, stop it. They didn't know how to treat it, except to put them away in a dark, lonely cave. So I've actually got her like this, in a dark, lonely cave, trying to hold, trying, trying to um, cover her face with her hands and the mold of the bear. And, and she's saying, I will never be loved. I will never have the love of my life. I will never have children. I will never have the life I thought that I would live. I will never have love. I will never have children. I will never have, I will never have, I will never have any life whatsoever. Boy, have you been doing a good job with all of that going on around you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so can you imagine, those beliefs are there. And with those beliefs that, that have been running your show, the frequency that Shannon's been on is really that, so when she brings people into a life, they look at her and go, wow, this is one hell of a gorgeous woman, as in not just beautiful, but, you know, being. And then they go, oh, but she wants to be alone. Oh, but she, she's on the frequency of, I'm gonna be alone for the rest of my life. I don't deserve love. I'm ugly. Don't get near me, you'll get, it. don't come near me. Did you see that one? A lot of you have got a program saying, don't come near me. It's like written here. Yeah. Don't love me. 
abuse me. I've got to hide. I've got to hide. I've got to hide. Okay. I'm trying. Stay strong. I've got to hide. Still same thing. Anyway, no, I'm gonna, just making sure. Um, so when you've got this pro these programs running, I've got to hide, and I don't want you to see me, and I'm not beautiful, and I, I'm never going to have the life that I want. What happens to your family life? Absolutely. Do you think you're going to get to the next level in your business? No way. If you wanted to be a speaker or somebody on stage, what's going to happen when you stand up here? Well, actually, you won't get up here, but if you did, you might wet yourself. Because truly, no, that was a bit too ugly. Wasn't it? Anyway, um, maybe you would be sick. That, is that better? I'm trying to get culturally <laughs> right here. Um, you get it, don't you? The girl who lives in Aussie right now. Um, so, this is going to stop you from really having the success you want in your work, which is not, you're not having the success that you want in your work at all. And you are not having a success with a relationship, with anything. And what's happening now is because your mama is in this transitional phase, that has triggered this off. This was already triggered off long before this, though, because you've, you've been through this. So, um, gee, I'm getting... Three, 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 I mean three, two, one, two, three. So you're three year old, this was triggered off from you when you were three. So from three until now you've been living with this, burbling away in your own conscious. Can you see how that has affected you since you've been three? Yeah. Yeah. Having not standing out, not not being out there, right? Holding back all of the time. Yeah. How many of you know that you have held yourself back? Yeah, exactly. And we have all done it. But this, to this degree, this, is, this has got to stop. Are you ready to shine? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's just go into your system. And, um, oh, sorry. You know how I said this was a big little time? <laughs> sorry. Okay, so I just had juices. Um, you show me what he wants to do. And he's going to the cave. And as he goes, all of them are being healed, but he goes up to this child at the back of the cave. He just picks you up and walks you out. And by the time you walk out of the cave, you're completely whole. Okay, that's a quantum reality I haven't done before. <laughs> that's like, that's really, really powerful. Can you feel that? That touch, just that touch of the divine, and you are whole. All right. So, let's go into your system and completely neutralize and delete out of your system the beliefs, programs, and ideas that have been held in place since you were three that are saying, um, people mustn't see me, they mustn't know me, it's dangerous to be around me, I'm not beautiful, I'll never be beautiful, I'll never have the love of my life, I don't deserve the love of my life, if I had them they would die, everybody dies around me, everybody rots and dies around me, um, life is not worth living. Let's completely neutralise and let them out of your system on every single level and give you a correction to be strong to know the absolute truth and the truth is that you can trust that you have never been more beautiful, more perfect, more divine, more deserving of love and support. That you, uh, that you can trust that it is your time to shine and that you have come here to move beyond this, to get clear and to shine. Um, you can trust that your heart knows the truth in every moment and that the divine love relationship that you thought you never, that you would never have is just been waiting for you to get clear because they won't go to come into that frequency. So changing the frequency to know that you are a divine uh, being who deserves love. No matter what you have said or done, no matter what you have been through, and no matter what you have said or done, no matter what you have been through, you still deserve love. Okay. So put a forgiveness template in and completely forgive the three-year-old for being triggered off. Forgive yourself for reading the script so well. Forgive everybody else who has triggered this off within you. And, uh, and also, let's just forgive your mama and your dad 
because in their way, they're, they're transitioning and leaving the planet is, is compounded, the triggering compounded this. And let's see you completely celebrating who they have been and celebrating their transition into where they need to be. Knowing that, knowing the absolute truth is that you can never be alone, you have never been alone and you never will be alone. But you are touched by the divine. And you will always be with the divine. And the divine. Okay, so let's neutralize and leave all the habitual thinking around this. Let's go into the brain, completely see the neuronal pathways popping off. Brand new neuronal pathways being, uh, being forged right now. And as they're being forged, what is she saying? I trust, I trust that it's safe for me to love and be loved. I trust it's safe for me to be seen and to be heard. I trust it's safe for me to live. I trust that I that no matter what I am doing, no matter where I am, I am never alone. Is that it? Okay, let's have a look. Stay strong. Being alone, not being alone. Uh, leprosy, not leprosy. The mother transitioning, not transitioning. Feeling alone, lonely, bereft, not good enough, not beautiful enough. What else was there? You felt about it? Yeah, there was more, I think. Okay, sorry. Okay, so just stand out. You can't stand out. Uh, you mustn't stand out, you must stand out. Holding I deserve back. success. I'm holding back? No way. <laughs> she holding back now? Uh, uh, uh. Holding back? No. no. Holding back. Okay. All right, so now how are you feeling? There. Just, just basic people. And, and was this the same woman that got up here? No. 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 Okay. I love you too. I love you too. <laughs>